Yes, guys, hope everyone's good. Um, yeah, Diego Lorente. It's a topic on everyone's mouth that's a Leeds fan at the moment. A player that has clearly not been played good enough to warrant starting in the Premier League consistently. A player that is, in my opinion, down on confidence and a player that is overthinking a lot of things. So I'm going to go into a few things today, you know, about Diego Lorente. And you guys know me, this, 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 isn't, this isn't going to be a negative in terms of attacking the guy personally and saying he's rubbish and all this, because I don't believe that. I do believe he needs a rest, needs time to just think, needs time on the bench to watch the game. But I don't think he's a bad player, like everyone's made out, and I'm not going to attack him. There's a lot of people that will, and you can go, you can, you can go watch people that do that. That's fine. But you got to understand, I'm, from my perspective, I'm coming. For, I want to work in football, right? I want to work part of a team environment. So for me, it's all about trying to find the good in players when they're struggling. I I can't give up on players. If I do, I wouldn't be in the right mindset to work in the the area I want to work in. But for me, I have to find ways which I can help a player get better, help a player get to where they, they want. That's me. That doesn't mean you can't criticise a performance. Of course you can. If it isn't good enough, they have to know. You can't lie to them. Or they won't improve. But to get personal and and outright say hey, we need to sell him and get a better player, he's not good enough. He's not good enough for Leeds United is odd for me. People comparing him to what some people at Real Sociedad saying. Because apparently it's the thing that he got worse the more they played. But what's that even mean? Well he just gives up, does he? I, that tells me one thing, that tells me that when when it's not going well for him, he really struggles mentally to deal with playing football in terms of when the ball comes to him, the little jittering he does, that's overthinking everything. That's thinking, what if I don't get this pass off? That's thinking the consequences of what happens if I don't do this, as opposed to thinking, I will do this, you know? When someone's calm on the ball and can just... And we're seeing it with a lot of people. Joe Gomez has just come back from long injuries and we're seeing him struggle with it. Van Dijk as well. Not the player this season that he was. It's that hesitation and overthinking of, do I do this? Do I do that? What do I do? And that that's, that's it for me. That's what's happening to Diego, I think. And to just attack him and say he's not good enough... I think people need to understand mentally the game is absolutely huge. And I, I don't yet think he's fully out of the mode that happened last year. Don't get me wrong. In his first season here, when he was fit for the last 15 odd games, he was outstanding and we can all agree with that, right? So that's a player that I want to find. That's the player I want to focus on. Um, so I'm not going to of course, I'm going to do a breakdown of the defence of the full game, probably Monday, Tuesday. And I'm going to pick out areas where the defence failed. Because, like I said, you can criticise the performance. We lost 5-2, of course you can. I'm not going to attack the players and say they're not good enough. They need to be dropped. Uh, they need to go. Of course they can be dropped. But yeah, I see in a person, I see the best what they can be. And I've seen him be absolutely outstanding. It was a big, big part of that 10-game non-losing streak we went on at the end of the first season. He was huge in that. Last year was horrible for him and everyone. He was either injured or he was put in a situation where he was exposed for 90 minutes. And I think he just needs a rest. I think he just needs to just sit on the bench and just watch the game. Watch what happens. 
you know, because he's still in it for me. He's still in the headlights. So I just, I just don't like when he gets attacked endlessly, and it is brutal on social media. And he's going to see that, and it's just not going to make him better. I don't get it. Just, just say he needs to come out of the team for a bit and leave it at that. Stop calling him absolutely useless and rubbish and not good enough and should leave the club instantly. Fraud and all this. So like, he's your player, man. Do you not want your player to improve? People say, oh, I want him to be great. Well, help him out then. Send him positive messages. You don't want a player to improve by saying you're not good enough, leave. But that's just me anyway. But I'll, I'll get into it now. I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is, I'm interested. I'm going to look at some stats from him this season. See if it's justified how bad he's been. Let's get into it. We're back on the old trusty FB ref here. Let me just get Robbins. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put side to side Robin and Diego. Okay. There he is. The beautiful man himself. Robin. Robin Cook. And Diego Lorente. Look at that. Whoa, that's beautiful. Um, anyway, let's get into it. 21 grand a week, apparently. 46. Whoa. Jeez. <laughs> anyway. Um, so. This is it, right? And these these are his last three hundred six five days views. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So these are these are comparables here. These are stats based on similar players in his position and where they rank. And I just want to look at this. That you can see it there. Look. I want to look at these here. Pressures. Obviously, you see in the Leeds team that the pressures are obviously going to be high, right? And you can see they are here. Look, 91%. So that means it's in the top 91% of this stat in, 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 those play, in that player pool. Tackles. High green. Top 81%. Interceptions. High green. 75%. Blocks. High green. 85%. Clearances, mid, aerial duels won, 51, not so great. Dribbles completed, 75, that's actually very good. Problem is, he's a centre-back, so the 25% are probably at the back where he loses the ball, right? But I just want to look at these here. Honestly, he's not going to get any of these, right? This, this is past attempted. Doesn't attempt as many passes. Pass completion is a problem for me. 31%. So I think from this, defensively, it seems fine. I'm going to go deeper into it. But dribbles completed, right? Touches, progressive passes is defender, right? And I just want to compare him with Robin. Clearances. Robin doesn't make as many clearances. You know, karma. Passes the ball. Doesn't make as many blocks. Doesn't make as many interceptions or tackles. In fact, it's not even close. But 16, 40, 75 and 81. Doesn't make as many tackles and interceptions as Diego. Pressure's 91, 95. That's to be expected, right? Pass completion, 78. That's in the lowest 10%. That's worse than Diego by 20%. He attempts less passes and he loses more. I just want to clarify when I'm editing this. This is within the player pool. And they are doing different player pools there compared to different players. But the idea is still there within those players, which are similar players. You can look at them. They are similar players. Uh, Laurenti fares better in that sense. You can look at individual stats for passing completers down. I'll put FB a ref in the description. So. And I'm, I'm not... This is just comparing... There's one player, and even me, I'll have big Robin Cock up. I thought he was excellent this season, and he has been. But the point is, has Diego been as bad as everyone's saying? And these are the. These, this is the game on a sheet. It's Robin, that's Diego. And you can go this FB ref, you can all look. Let's go down here. These are the comparables as well, these players here. 
So I'm on, I'm on this bit here, right? And I'm comparing the two again. And there's a few stats I want to look at here. The first one is interceptions. This is Robin and Diego. 15 for Diego. Robin, 14. Tackles in which tackler team have one possession of the ball. Four for Robin. Nine for Diego. Number of loose balls recovered. 81 for Diego. 57 for Robin. And for me, aerial duels, right? This is this is this is problem. Doesn't win as much. Percentage, 80. Oh, wait. <laughs> he does. 72%. Robin has won 21. Diego has 121, lost 5, Robin has lost 8. You know, it's just in... And I'm just... Let me just thingy this, right? I'm not for one minute saying Robin is bad, because I think Robin's been excellent. But my point is this, right? Everyone is attacking Diego's every single aspect of his performance. Every single bit. I've just compared him and Robin there. And stats are similar, and Diego beats Robin in many stats. Robin beats Diego in some other stats. We're very good in this. There's no doubt about it. Lorente has made bigger mistakes left, 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 that's led to goals, right? But bigger mistakes that have led to goals are a confidence sign. It's not the ability of the player, it's confidence. Trying to marry it on a turn, you say that's not confident. When you don't know what you're doing and you're, you're worried, you you know, you do anything to try and pull something off. It got to that point. You shouldn't have got to that point. You should have released the ball quicker. And people say, he looks skittish. Yeah, because he's so scared to lose the ball. Robin is a calmer person. And from the stats, Diego does more blocks, more tackles, more interceptions. He gets involved more in that side of it. Robin kind of sweeps up, kind of sits, sits there and, uh, you know, gives the ball, gives the ball. Robin's very calm. Diego does the dirty work. Robin does the nice clean bits. That's the partnership at the moment. The stats show it. And he watched the game back. I've already watched it. I'm going to do a breakdown. That is what happens in the game. I think it's so easy to just find someone to accuse of something. And then beat that, beat that, beat that endlessly. Pause. Um, yeah. So, so I don't know. What do you guys think? There's no doubt about it that Diego Lorente is struggling. No doubt about it. But when in a lot of the areas in which he's struggling are still statistically better than Robin Cock. Is that a good thing for Diego? For me, that shows that when he's good, he can be an excellent player for Leeds United. And I just want to get on to another bit. So obviously, Twitter is crazy, right? I'm not going to have too much into it, but I'm seeing, I'm seeing genuine people um, because of what happened in the transfer window, blaming the board for absolutely every single goal we concede. Yet the same people will then batter Lorente for his performance. So whose fault is it? We're a club, is my point. We make mistakes together. We're in this together. Side before self. Stop battering someone. They need a rest. They need to come out of the team. It's not that deep. Some people think it is. That's fine. I don't think it is. We're ninth in the Premier League. We're ninth in the Premier League. Momentum isn't good. Granted. Not Forest is a big game. Yeah. But if we play really well against Forest, I'll be fine with that. Performance. I don't know. I just think we just it's too easy to. It's never. It's never. It's never. He's all right. He's doing fine. It's never that, or it's never. Let's give him a chance. Or let's give him a rest. It's always not good enough. You know, uh, Willie No. I can't speak. Willie Noto is being just touted out as a, just an eighteen-year-old. What play first thing football? He will. 
He will play first team football. I keep saying this. He's playing first team football. Don't know if he'll be in the squad for the Forest. Maybe. Maybe not. But he will play first team football. His product, in my opinion, his end product is better than Dan James's. His impact will be higher. But yeah, on Diego Llorente, right? Uh, yeah, I think, I think he needs a rest. Everyone's still saying we need a left back. Uh, we've got Juni Firpo. I'm just putting it out there. I think he's going to... If he plays this season, I think he's going to do well. I just think he is. I like Juni Firpo. I see something in him. I don't know what it is. I could be completely wrong. I could be completely wrong. I just see something in Juni Firpo. This is what I mean. I can't give up on players. Just seeing this other board. I need to sign a left back. We don't have one. We do have one. And they believe in him. Manager believes in him. I believe in him. So I'd like to see Stroke centre back. The poor left back. I like that. That's just me. Anyway. Yeah, just just guys, come on. Ninth Premier League. The most negative team in the league and we're ninth. Mad, isn't it? Yeah, hope you enjoy it. I'll do a breakdown of the defensive structure from watching the game in a few days. Have a good good weekend, I guess. And I'll see you Monday, probably. Maybe Sunday. Sunday night. Yeah, thanks for the support. Incredible, as usual. Thanks for listening to me rant. Uh, yeah, see you guys in a bit. Peace.